Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to use Texturing XYZ textures in uh, ZBrush. So, the one that I'm actually talking about is this one right down here. Alpha Skin Faces. 175 skin alphas for sculpting. Now, it's at the moment of this recording, it's half price, so you can get it for only $30. That's about 20 something pounds if you're in the UK. And what you get is a folder like this. And I actually placed this inside of me in my Z Alphas uh, folder, which is usually in C, Program Files, Plex, Logic, ZBrush to a version, whatever version you have, and the alphas, you can place them in there and boom. So it comes up with the placement showing you uh, what numbers correspond to what. So if I open up one of these folders here, for example, female, you got forehead and one, two, three, four, up until six, that's all forehead. This forehead, this first one, it's not a texture, it's just uh, a reference so that you know that these numbers are from the forehead and you can see them right here, one, two, three, up until six. So with this uh, placement uh, image, you can figure out where does each one of them go. So I'll just place this in my second monitor. I'll close these up. Now the way I, I usually pick them up is by going to my light box and now they show up in my alphas. If I just come back here, they show up here. So displace all faces. I'll just grab a female face, 40. And I'll just grab a so lower face. These are all lower face. I'll just grab one of these. And it shows up in there. So another way to do it is if you don't want to place it in your alphas folder, you can just come to the alpha import and and then navigate to the folder wherever you have them and choose it from there now there are two ways of doing this one is by using drag rect and i should say that i've this is a polysphere that i divided and the active points right now are two million poly, polys and that's that's usually the minimum that you can can use this because if you go lower than that you won't have enough resolution and it's going to look like crap so drag rect, you can use it like that, but notice that it bulges up, it bulges up a little bit, it's a bit hard to see with this uh, material. Let me try a different material, maybe the basic material shows you a little bit better. So if I just undo that, it bulges up, you see that bulge around it. So to avoid that, the only thing you need to do is you go to alpha and you go to modify and you click on surface and it should automatically give you a number of 50 mid value and if it doesn't you just select that 50 mid value now for your intensity 15 is usually a good number for it so all you have to do is drag it and you got it the other way you can do this is by choosing drag dot and drag dot allows you to change the placement but it will have the size of your brush so if I increase my the size of my brush and I start drag dotting I can then change the placement you see that lazy mouse the lazy step is a bit big so we can change that lazy step <clears throat> if you go to stroke lazy mouse and you bring this down the lazy step so now when I start dragging, I won't have that issue and I can place it wherever I like. And that's how you use Texture XYZ in ZBrush. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Support me on Patreon and activate the little bell notifications to get the new videos. See you on the next one.